then welcome to this video this is lecture number 47 already 46 lecture covered to solve the supplementary problem of the book vector analysis by mr smiley you all know this book is very important for physics honors as well as for mathematics honors and also for iit jam preparation that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem 5.56 to 5.57 of chapter 5 which consists vector integration so let's start with question 5.56 let f equals to the force is given here find this integral value where x y z are given in parametric form with the function t and the t varies from 0 to pi by 2 so at first we need to find out the f cross r right so what is the value of f cross r just put the simply cross product f cross r that is nothing but i cap j cap k cap coefficient of x i cap is 2y minus z x and the you know r vector is i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z so what is the value of dr dr vector so you need to not add dr right because there is dr vector so what is the value of dr vector i cap dx j cap dy and k cap dz so put here dx dy and dz so i cap that into minus z dz minus x dy plus j cap into x dx sorry there is some mistake okay what happened right this is right now okay so x dx minus 2y digit x dx minus 2y digit plus k cap that into 2y dy plus z digit we got the cross product now we need to put this in terms of t here given x equal to cos t so dx equals to x equal to x equals to cos t so dx equals to minus sin t dt similarly y equals to sin t that is dy equals to cos t dt and z equals to 2 cos t that is dz equals to minus 2 sin t dt just put this value in this equation we got i cap minus z z is 2 cos t minus so 2 cos t dz dz is minus 2 sin t so this become plus 2 sin t dt dt can be common for each way there is dt so x x is cos t and dy is also cos t that into dt plus j cap sorry x x is my uh, x is minus x is cos t and dx is minus sin t so there is minus sin t dt minus 2 y y is sin t and dz is minus 2 so this become plus 2 sin t dt plus k cap 2 y y is sin t plus dy dy is cos t plus z z is 2 cos t and dz is minus so this become minus 2 sin t is this okay z z is cos t 2 cos t dz is 2 sin t that into dt is this okay 2 y dy and minus z dz dx not dz dx dx that's why there is a mistake dx is minus sin t so this become minus sin t right so this uh, the k component will be zero only these two component are remaining so first one is i cap this is 2 cos t cos t so this can be written as 2 sin 2 t 
minus 1 by cos square so this can be written as 1 by half 2 cos square cos square is 1 per cos 2t plus j cap this is nothing but minus sin t cos t so this is half sin 2t and this is 2 sin square t that is 2 sin square is 1 minus cos 2t okay and k cap is 0 so if we integrate uh, this function integration f cross dr uh, in the limit the limit t equals to 0 to 1 right t equals to 0 to 1 0 to pi by 2 t equals to 0 to pi by 2 t equals to 0 to pi by 2 for i cap you put the minus half sin 2t minus half sin 2t sorry 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 this is sin 2t minus half minus cos 2t 2 sin 2t minus half minus half cos 2t that into dt plus j cap 0 to pi by 2 j cap j cap is minus half sin 2t minus half sin 2t and this is my plus 2 minus 2 cos t cos 2t okay this is dt that into dt so if we integrate this is becomes minus 2 cos 2t by 2 this is half t this is cos sin 2 t by 2 so this becomes 4 0 to pi by 2 i cap and the j cap this is minus cos so this become plus cos 2 t by 2 that is 4 plus 2 t minus 2 sin 2 t by 2 0 to pi by 2 so this is i cap if we put cos pi is minus 1 so 2 to cancel out minus of minus 1 and cos 0 is 1 so this is minus 1 t is pi by 2 this become pi by 4 cos pi sin pi is 0 sin 0 0 both are 0 j cap similarly cos pi is minus 1 1 fourth cos pi is minus 1 cos 0 is minus 1 and 2 into pi by 2 sin both are 0 so this become 2 minus pi by 4 into i cap and this become minus 1 into minus half and pi pi minus half pi minus half into j cap so this is the value of this integral clear the question 5.57 says that a vector equal to this b vector equal to this those vector are given a cross b cross d dr around the circle in the xy plane having the center at origin radius to traveling in the in the xy plane that means there is z equals to 0 that is dz equals to 0 we can say this is xy to 0 dz equal to 0 and since this is a xy plane with a circle so the equation of the circle will be x square plus y square into s square a is the radius which is given is 2 so x square plus y square plus 2 square is the equation of this circuit equation of circle is like that take uh, since this is a circle we can take the polar coordinate polar polar coordinate coordinate we take polar coordinates x equal to 2 cos theta y equal to 2 sin theta so this dx equal to minus 2 sin theta d theta dy equal to 2 cos theta d theta just cross this uh, i take the reverse such that we can put the egg back cap rule use this back cap rule we got this expression and just put the value of a dr you know r vector is i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z so dr vector is i cap dx j cap dy and k cap dz just put the value a vector and dr vector similarly b vector and dr vector and <coughs> this is the b vector and the dot product i i1 j j1 k k1 are others are zero similarly in this uh, dot product also on this
then put the value of x y x equal to 2 cos theta y equal to 2 sin theta dx equals to minus 2 sin theta d theta and dy is equal to 2 cos theta d theta put this value in this expression and just simplify a long step there is a long step just simplify like that take this screenshot and verify with your calculation this is the long step simply taking the and then finally put the value just take screenshot and check you with yourself the at first you do this sum yourself if not doesn't matter then check this one okay simply just comes into the square and just calculated this one you will be get the and finally you will get this expression in this expression you can see this sin 2 pi cos 2 pi sin theta, sin 2 theta cos theta and this all if the limit will be 0 to 2 pi so the sin theta integration sin theta 0 to 2 pi is 0 cos theta integration 0 to 2 pi also 0 this is the initial and final is the same that's why this is a 0 0 to 2 pi sin 2 theta also 0 and 0 to 2 pi cos 2 theta also 0 okay since these two are zeros you can see in the term uh, this term uh, there is cos 2 theta sin 2 theta cos 2 all as 0 in this two are 0 only 6 is remaining so 6 theta is remaining and this is 14 theta so 6 theta and 14 theta in the theta limit uh, 2 pi minus 0 2 pi minus upper limit minus lower limit and we get this is the answer of this question okay this one check yourself if there is any <laughs> problem please comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp or telegram for physics related question and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel and see the others video already uploaded share this video to your friends so that he or she also benefit from this video subscribe this channel you are new in this channel and those who already subscribed thank you for subscription and press the bell icon to the bell icon so that you got the notification when i uploaded the next video the upcoming video thank you take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible